Martin for three. Swish for Kate Martin. Money Martin. She has been an Iowa Hawkeye through and through from the day she was born. And she's been the perfect fit to uplift our culture and keep it where it's always been. I just grew up around Iowa women's basketball and I knew that that's where I wanted to be. My family, they were all Hawkeye fans. My mom's from the Quad Cities, all my aunts and uncles still live there. It doesn't hurt that Coach Jay is my aunt. I'm really glad she came back for her sixth year. It took some convincing. I begged her. Everyone was just like, Kate, like, please come back. Like, why would you want to start your job now? Like, you have another year to do college. You have another year to be at Iowa. Like, come on, like, there's no better place. I talked to her, Coach Pluter talked to her, and it was just like, we think you might, like, regret this, and we don't want you to pass on a great opportunity of getting to play another year, work on your master's degree. And I was like, you can spend time with me. I would love to say that it was a no-brainer, but I, I did really take time to think about the decision to come back for my sixth year. I was really concerned about taking away minutes from people who deserved them, but when I thought what my best interest was and what would be best for me, I, I knew that staying and playing with my best friends for another year, if I had that opportunity, I would be crazy to you know, pass that up and miss out on that. She is an amazing leader, one of the best that I've ever been around in coaching all these years. Hit! Nice. Good job, Sharon. Nice shot. She has just a great read on people and how they're feeling, and I think that's what makes her one of the best leaders I've ever been around in my entire life. Luckily, she's not just my teammate, she's one of my best friends and somebody that I've been able to lean on for more than basketball. My sister played college basketball and she was a great leader and she said to me, just know that people will never remember how many points you score, but people will always remember how you made them feel. And I think that's something that I've tried to live by. She's the one that holds us together. She's the one that picks us up when we lose a game and we have a bad practice. I'm super grateful that that is my role and that's my job trying to keep people together and keep the team running smooth. She's somebody that always wants to uplift others. She doesn't care about herself. She doesn't care about her stats. It's always what's best for the team, what's best for us to win, what's best for the Iowa Hawkeyes as a group. Her legacy is definitely going to be playing in the national championship game. That's going to be part of her legacy. That is a dream that every little girl dreams about, is to have an opportunity to win a national championship, and we, we were there. She was a captain of that team. I hear stories all the time about how many people we've brought together because they just love to watch our team. I think that is something so special and something that I don't even understand the extent of it yet, but when I'm older, I'm going to look back on it and just be super grateful. I was very competitive from a young age. I remember I had a little bit of a temper, a little fire, a little bit of a drive. My dad is a football coach and he coached me and my brother's sport growing up. I love being able to bond with him through sports. She's a coach's kid, so I think it comes naturally a little bit for her because she's seen her dad as a football coach for so many years be that tremendous leader. Younger players learn from Kate how to use their voice. Kate is the loudest voice in practice. Just how important that energy piece is to practice and bringing that energy every single day. Ball handling with Coach T. Iowa on three. One, two, three. Iowa. I try to go in with a super positive mindset, positive attitude, and anything I can do to make my teammates' lives easier. I'm surrounded by great teammates who do that for me as well. So it's not just me, I want to clarify that. Like I have so many good teammates that you know pick me up when I'm down and encourage me. Kate Martin lays it up and in. 
something about Kate. She sleeps with a blankie every night. <laughs> Exposed. She's not embarrassed by it. Everybody knows about it. Which is hilarious because Kate's like tough, like mean. Yes, I still sleep with a blanket every night that I've had since I was a little kid. Then I'm not going to tell you its name. If you ever go in her apartment, on the top of every counter is every hot sauce bottle she's ever emptied. Like it's decoration. It's insane how many bottles are up there. <laughs> Nobody should eat this much hot sauce in their entire life, let alone college. While I've experienced all of this here in my going on six years, I will carry all of these lessons and memories for the rest of my life. That's what you want from your players. That's the type of joy you want in your program and the type of young ladies that you want to coach. On three together, one, two, three together. I think it took a little convincing to get Kate to come back, but I think now that she's here and enjoying it, she knows it was the right decision and she wouldn't change it for the world. I think it's gonna be one of the best years of her life.